Just to remind you, your drawing thing has to have music in the background. Right here. Music playing the whole time. So, here I am just writing the word hi, which doesn't meet my eight letter requirement, but I wanted to have something similar to show you how to record the sound. Well, you're not going to be recording sound, you're going to be choosing and playing sound. So, um, I will be using play sound until done, but I don't really want meow. So I need some better sound choices, and right now I don't have any. I just have the meow. If I go to sounds, let me do that slower. Oops, I hit the wrong button. Way to go, Mac. So if I go to sounds, clicking here opens the sound library. And clicking any of those plays a sound. I'm not sure if you can hear it. Yeah. So, and they're categorized. I would recommend that you go to music loops um, or instruments and find something there. Uh, medieval. That's kind of nice. Some of them are longer than others. Um, they overplay each other too. So you do want to make sure that your song lasts as long as the writing. It's okay if it goes over. But if you pick something that's too short, then you're going to want to either repeat it or include another one. I'm going to use Drip Drop because I like the name. So I have Drip Drop available in my library. If I go back to script, I can now choose Drip Drop. Now, this doesn't say when to play. I could put it here, but I'm just going to take out another one-clicked thing. So now, if we watch my awesome drawing. See, and it doesn't last long enough. So my choice now is to play that again, or I could come back to sounds and pick another sound. That's way too short. No. I'm going to go back to this uh, Medieval 2. I kind of liked that. Which may end up being too long, but it will still work. Let's see how long that lasts. Okay, so if I come back to my scripts get another sound, play sound thing. Oops, let me do the whole thing. So the second sound starts and my dude draws. So it goes a little longer. I could maybe try this one and see what happens. Because maybe it'll stop when the cat stops. I'm not sure. No, it doesn't. If I really wanted to, I could come back to sounds and edit it. Like, wow, it looks long. But I think it's possible to say, whoops, select this whole bit and edit, delete. So now I have a shorter song. Um, that was kind of irresponsible for me because I just guessed when the song should stop. But I wanted to illustrate that it is possible to make the sound shorter. So it kind of ended right where I wanted it to. Um, it could be a little longer, so I probably made a bit of a mistake, but let me undo. Try to remember where that was. Do, 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 do. There, maybe. Edit. Delete. And we'll ask this for the last time. If 
I added it wrong again. I'm just going to undo and maybe I just need this one song to be the right length. Oh, that was way too short. So I'm going to undo. I'm going to go back to my scripts. Let's throw away that song. Come on. Put this one in. So now I just have Medieval 2 unedited. It's kind of a sad song. Oh, it didn't. I think it stayed edited, so. Let's erase that one and get it back. So when I take it back from here, it will still be this, the original length song. Medieval 2. Right here. Okay, that looks like the whole length. And I go back to script, play Medieval 2 until done. That's pretty well timed. So, and, and it lasted a little bit longer, but that's fine. So anyway, that's how you get music in at the end. Remember, you are also supposed to have a different background. So if I select my background, go to backdrops, I can choose a new backdrop. Um, I think I'll choose the flowers. And go back. So I guess I should have double clicked the flowers. New backdrop. Double click the flowers. And there's my final movie. So that would be good enough to now share the code and embed it on my Weebly. Okay, ciao.